In this video, we'll take a look at galleries, options, profiles, some blueprint terms that you may not be familiar with, but they can help you not only create your documentation, but create it consistently and have all of the users in your environment creating consistent documentation. We're going to start off by going to the options dialog here. And there are many, many default options that you can set inside of Blueprint. I'm just going to touch on a few of them here. Uh, how does your mouse work? Um, what do your grid lines look like? Uh, how do you snap? What do you snap to? When you get into a drawing, what does your sheet look like? What's your default sheet size? Uh, anytime you put down a PCB view, there's options for it. Uh, if you have assembly variants, what do you want those to look like for the uninstalls? If you're creating a panel drawing, what do you want to do when you have score lines and web routes? How do you want those to merge? So these are just some of the options in here. Once you set these, you're going to save these as what is called a profile in Blueprint. So if I say save as, I give it a name, that saves it off to your local registry. But if I want to share this with other users, I will export that profile, creates a text file, and then they can import that profile and they will be doing everything the same. Along with that idea is the element gallery. Now the element gallery is the placeholder for all your title blocks, uh, revision blocks, PCB views, note blocks, drill charts. All of the things or elements that you might add to a drawing are in a element gallery. And the default location again is just to install it in the, uh, the default directory here. But if you're in a networked environment you're going to want to put this out onto a network shared site. Okay, which I'm going to do now. We're going to go down to Element Gallery here. And now I have an Element Gallery that's out on my Z drive. And once I say OK, then that is going to be the default Element Gallery that we look at whenever we open up uh, any of the uh, elements over here in our palettes is going to be pointing at that new um, network gallery. In addition to that, once we've created our templates, we can save those as startup files. So I might have a rigid template, a rigid flex template, uh, maybe a template for doing um, uh, inches versus millimeters versus microns and it's already set up that way so there's many options as to far as as far as how you create your startup files but you want everybody to have access to them so the same idea i would browse to a location where all of my startup files exist again the default is in the default installation but again these might be out onto a network drive just as we did with the element gallery the point is, once I've set these, I'm going to go back to my profile and save my profile with that information. Then I'm going to export it and push out that file to all my users. They're going to import it, and now we're all doing consistent documentation, consistent templates, consistent element gallery, consistent units, and so forth. All are controlled by having this same profile pushed out to all of our users. So that's how the gallery, startup files, and profiles all work with Blueprint PCB.